Hello friends. So now I am going to discuss a few examples uh, from the rearrangement uh, chapter. So, so the first example is based on the diunion phenol rearrangement, right? So what happens over here? You have this system. We have a diunion, diunion, and it will rearrange to get a, uh, a phenol, diunion phenol, right? So what happens in presence of H plus? So first of all, this O will get protonated, right? It will get protonated first. Now, as it gets protonated, then you can have this and write this one, right? Uh, what happens when we are getting OH over here and here we are getting a methyl and here a methyl right and a positive charge so this positive charge what happens this bond will migrate over here to form a tertiary uh, carbocation over there right so if this bond migrates over here so it will form a five member ring the methyl group here and we have a tertiary carbocation center right so we have this center and this fine so this is a stable carbocation okay now what happens and this will Stabilize this carbocation. So we are basically getting OH one positive charge over here. There is a methyl group and right here one two three it's five member ring. Fine. So now this there will be a, a bond shift from here so bond gets shift so we are getting as the bond gets shifted the so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 so getting a 6 member ring over here right we have a methyl group over here and here one positive charge and this positive this carbocation is also stable due to it's a 3 degree carbocation right so it is also stable and here one here one which then what happens here we have a proton so it will form a double bond so this is this double bond is a, a more substituted double bond right so just rearranging the structure so we have we have this spawn this spawn this we have a OH group over here just uh, in the para position we have a methyl group and just and beside the OH here we have a methyl group so this is our product so this is how uh, this has to be done right so let's move to the next one which is uh, based on the diazonium uh, salt uh, we are basically dealing with NaNO2 and HCl to form a uh, diazonium salt and then a rearrangement takes place so we have given some substituted uh, cyclohexane uh, ring so just I am taking the first one first okay so I am writing it in a chair form right so I am writing it in Chair form. So this is the one position. So O which is below the two position, the NH2 is above, and here the four position is above. Right. So we are adding NaNO to HCl in ice cold condition. So if we add NaNO to HCl, this NH2 group will react to form a diazonium salt that is so N2 plus. It will form a N2 plus. Right. Now what happens? Rearrangement takes place and the bond which is anti now the N2 
this is a good living room because if it leaves then it will uh, form a stable uh, stable end to right so uh, sodium uh, this end to gas is very stable okay see so if it evolve so what happens in order to evolve this into just we have to uh, uh, make the anti periplanar bond migrate we have to migrate the anti periplanar bond so this is our n2 bond so which one is anti periplanar this one right so this is our anti periplanar bond right so this oxygen lone pair will form a double bond over here so now it become 1 2 3 4 our hydrogen is there, five pent up there, and that is why this anti periplanar bond migrates, and N two will leave, right? So we are basically getting a five member ring. We are basically getting a five member ring, and this if this is the number one position, the number one position, we are getting a CHO. Let's say the CHO, okay, and. Two, three. If it is a one position, we are getting basically a CHO. So one, two, three here we have the uh, this uh, methyl group. So just forget this methyl group. No need to miss. Main thing is this one. Okay. So whatever be the group present. Now let's take the second one. Second one. So second one is like. Just predict the just uh, focus on the anti preplanar bond. Here OH is above, and here we are directly writing N2 plus because on treatment we die in N2 Now, which one is anti preplanar now? This one is anti preplanar, right? So, if it comes over here, the anti preplanar bond migrates, it will be. again the same product we are getting. Again, we are getting the same product. So five member ring, we have an aldehyde, and we have this uh, uh, methyl substitute, right? So for first two, uh, this is the case, and just uh, doing the next one, that is uh, the third one, right? So if we do the third one, so the OH is below, and N N two plus that is also below. Now, which is the anti periplanar? There is no anti periplanar CC bond, but we have an anti periplanar CH bond, right? So, uh, so the only one possibility is the migration of H. Okay, so what happens? It will go over here, and this H as a hydride will migrate here, and this will leave, right? So there is no uh, contraction of ring. It remains as a six member ring. So we are basically getting a six member ring. Here we are getting the keto, this group. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. In the fourth position, we, are, we have a methyl group, right? So I'm basically getting a keto. And let's uh, talk about this last one. The last one, what happens? We have a OH group. So let's draw it over here. In the last one, we have a OH group over here and N2 plus below. Right. Now, what happens? So there is no anti periplanar CC bond, nor any anti periplanar CH bond. Okay, so what is the anti -periplanar? Only anti is this OH bond. This is the anti -periplanar. So the one, uh, so the only possibility is that if this oxygen lone pair attacks here to form an epoxide, then only this N2 can leave. So we are ending with an epoxide, right? So we are ending with an epoxide. So above phase attack this is the one position two position three four so one two three four we have a methyl group right so this is 
how you have to do this uh, problem uh, so if we have at, uh, both groups in uh, same direction if we have a both group in the same direction then we will lead to a ring contraction and if we have this OH group like you have to draw like this first because you cannot predict it from here okay but if both are right uh, if uh, both are below if, if both are below then only the uh, hydride uh, migration is the case and if both are above then you are getting a, a ring contraction uh, but if one is above and one is below then we have to uh, draw the uh, this uh, chair confir uh, confirmation uh, to see which one is uh, like anti preparatory to what uh, based on that uh, so so there are three types of mainly three types of product can happen one is a ring contraction one is a keto formation like ring will remain same six member and one is epoxidation right so this is uh, how you need to solve this type of problem so in the upcoming videos i will be uploading more videos uh, more examples on rearrangement uh, name reaction and then i will proceed to other part of organic chemistry so hope you uh, like the video and thanks for watching